I mean, what can you say about a chatterbait or a bladed jig? The thing has become such an amazing fish catcher, tournaments, recreational anglers. Actually, the whole thing goes back more than 15 years ago. Ron Davis Jr. You know, gave us the first chatterbait around 2003, 2004. Brian Thrift won a couple early FLW tournaments, actually a couple of his first tournaments on the chatterbait and it just blew up from there. Um, of course, some of you guys will recognize this. This is the jackhammer one of the hottest baits you know ever it's certainly one of the hottest baits right now but i think you know a lot of my people may not realize a, a chatterbait is more than just this um, there's some new designs or some you know some some alternative designs i guess you might say that maybe will open your eyes a little bit to uh, that a bladed jig is way more than just you know this thing right here which is a great bait but there's some other cool stuff out there so i'll show you a couple uh, just alternative designs you may or may not have seen this is the big blade chatterbait. So I'll show you, you've got a big blade and then there's your jackhammer. So we've got a six or 70% more surface area on that, on that blade. This thing will thump the heck out of your rod tip. Uh, and it is a, obviously, it's a big fish bait. It's got a big number six, or I'm sorry, a six odd hook on there. Big, big blade, uh, wired tied skirts for durability. But you can put the same, you know, we got a razor shad on here. You can put the same trailers you're using. You work it a little slower, um, just because more water displacement, it's going to come up to the surface a little faster. Uh, but there are some heavier weights on this thing. You can, you know, a 5 8 ounce, half ounce, and you're just going to feel the thump on this thing. And it's a fun bait to fish. You can get it to really hunt and get erratic just by, you know, speeding up the retrieve, popping the rod tip a little bit. So that's that, the big blade chatterbait. Um, the opposite side of the spectrum, we've got one called the Mini Max chatterbait. This thing is, is just a sweet little burner. It's got, you know, just a tiny little thumbnail sized uh, hex blade. One of the things uh, on all these chatterbaits I wanted to call attention to too is that direct blade to, to jig head connection. Gets that blade to, to kind of crack that jig head all the time. So after a while you're gonna see, you're gonna see a little wear on that jig head. That's exactly what you want because that's where the magic of this bait is. is that's where that blade is, is clacking that head. And the Mini Max does that really well. Um, same deal, you know, wire tied skirt, premium components. Just a, a you know a much more downsized compact package. This one is is, is rigged with a, a a baby goat vertically, so you got kind of like a a double paddle tail thing. That's it's a perfect trailer for this little guy, and this is a half ounce bait. So um, there's other sizes too, but you can really burn this thing a lot. Fish it a lot faster, less water displacement, higher frequency vibration. Uh, great smallmouth bait. Great for ponds actually. You can put this on a spinning rod and uh, fish it in small waters, and this is going to be a really a versatile little bait here. I think people are going to like that one. This thing is is just really interesting. It's the willow vibe. Now, does that look like a chatterbait? Not necessarily. You know, it's a willow leaf blade. Uh, this was designed also by Ron Davis Jr., the, the guy that originated the, the chatterbait, but created it to fish in open water for suspended stripers, uh, spotted bass that are feeding on shad. You count it down, just fish it almost like an underspin but it's just a really well-balanced bait. It's got a beautiful little vibration, just sings. You know, speed it up a little bit and it's gonna, heart, it's gonna hunt and dart all different directions, gets real erratic. Uh, you can fish this deeper too, and almost fish it like a regular jig heads where you're throwing it out uh, in river current or along a deeper ledge, work it down to 10, 15 feet of water and just pull the rod, you'll feel it little, little buzzes and then stop. When you stop and work it like a jig, the blade just falls out of the picture, just becomes a jig. Uh, this is rigged with a Slim Swims little paddle tail, but you can put all sorts of different finesse baits on there. So not exactly your traditional chatterbait or bladed jig, but it's a fish catcher for sure. Another bait that is uh, kind of a little bit more off the radar is the cross eyes chatterbait developed by David Walker. A lot of you guys know, you know, the, the chatterbait fishes really well in grass. This thing with, uh, it's sort of a customized, you got a customized double weed guard on there, or, or timber guard really. This thing is designed to fish really well through timber and brush and, and uh, more hard cover. You can fish it slow, you can fish it deep. It's got a, a lot of the same quality components on it, but that brush guard really makes this thing, you know, something you can throw more in, in wood cover. And it's just a great option for sure. And then of course your standard jackhammer, and then back to the jackhammer stealth blade. Really similar to, a, to a, the, the traditional jackhammer and a lot of the components, the hooks, the skirts, but the, that clear polycarbonate blade, this was designed by Brett Height to kind of as a, you know, an antidote for uh, those areas where people have thrown tons of bladed jigs. That clear blade 
doesn't show up, doesn't flash as much. It's a definitely a different sound than your regular jackhammer. Uh, clear water, high, high pressured situations, that stealth blade is, is a really good fish catcher. It's again, a little bit off the radar, but it's a terrific little bladed jig. You'll find that a bladed jig works in so many different situations than you thought possible. So we're gonna go see if we can get one on this big blade right now.